1979, demonstrators invaded the American embassy in Tehran. Demanding the return of the Shah, they took embassy personnel as hostages in violation of international law. Treaty signed by the United States and Iran state that both countries will observe the principle of diplomatic immunity, a principle which protects foreign representatives and embassy property. All appeals to free the hostages were denied by the government of Iran. The refusal constituted an unprecedented breach of the rules of normal diplomatic behavior. Societies, nations, have always formulated laws to maintain order, to prevent anarchy and chaos. In similar fashion, nations have created international laws, among them rules providing for safety of their diplomatic missions abroad. Diplomatic immunity is a widely accepted principle. It assures protection for embassy personnel, even when the sending and receiving nations do not enjoy friendly relations. A violation of international law is extremely rare. The taking of American diplomatic representatives as hostages by Iranian students with the acquiescence of the Iranian government is a situation to be examined for the meaning it has for the rest of the world. From the beginning of the crisis, the United States has reacted with restraint despite the outrage against its representatives abroad. Speaking